AccuStats Video Productions is excited to bring you a match between two world champions, Tjörborn Blomdahl of Sweden, five times world champion and current world champion, and Sang Chun Lee of New York City, who is six consecutive time U.S. champion as well as a 1993 world champion. I'm Robert Byrne in a booth here with Mike Seamus to bring you the action. Hi, Mike. Bob, break out the Valium. I, I can't believe what's been going on here this afternoon. This is, is going to be as scrappy as a prize fight. We have here the best player in the world, Torbjorn Blumdahl, against the best player in the United States, Sang Lee. Sang Lee is a former world champion, and Blumdahl is the current world champion. It could not be more aggressive. He is the most aggressive player in history, probably. And he has a complete game. He has a lot of focus and dedication, a lot of heart, fighting heart, and a great imagination, perfect technique. It's just fabulous to watch him. In addition to the technical caliber, we cannot ignore the pride factor. Neither of these guys can stand losing to the other. <laughs> that shot is a good example. Beautiful. Played take, with take such uh, confidence. Take a difficult position, and he, he just doesn't want to give up the table to Sangley. <clears throat> both of these guys have competitive runs over 20. This is a 60-point game. They're both seated. They're both playing to 60 points, so it's even up all around. We're in the Perfection next, so far. We're in the next to last day of competition. Each player has one loss. Yes, uh, Blumdahl just was upset in the previous round by Sami Sagan or a turkey in a thrilling game. So Blumdahl's 8-1, and one and so is, well, Sangli might be one game behind. I think he's 7-1. and one. So this could well be for all the marbles. There's a kind of a rare miss. Uh, meaning that the winner of this game could end up winning the tournament. Yes. And the loser of this game probably won't win the tournament. There's four players averaging 1.6 or better. Nice. Blomdahl, Sangley, Dick Jaspers, and Sammy Sagener. Sangley finished a match about 20 minutes ago in which he averaged exactly 2.0. He uh, took him 30 innings to make his 60 points. I just said Sagener, but I meant to say Kuhlman's. He's also over 1.6. Kuhlman's had a 2.2 .2 average in a game yesterday. Again, to 60 points. It's hard to imagine that we're w watching this and not just dreaming it. We have in this tournament... Look at this twice around, but a little too long. In the tournament, we have six of the top ten players in the world. I think that's probably the strongest field ever assembled in the United States since the 1940s. All right, and then th three of them are world champions, or former world champions, Kuhlman, Sang Lee, and Blumdahl. Well, I'll almost certainly uh, see something remarkable yeah, in this game. Yeah, he's devastating on tickies. This looks Picking like... Picking up the third rail there is This not is so yellow easy. first, I think. But he made it ticky like that in the previous game where he had hardly like anything to work with for the third rail. And he made it. Hmm. That's a good looking shot. It's useful to compare the technique of these two players. Watch Sang Lee's bridge. It's very unusual in that his fingers are not spread eagled but are held together. Plus his very erect stance. Okay. His Blumdahl's really erect too. And uh, this may be a good chance to see Sang Lee's wrist action on his grip hand, which is very, very flexible. Yeah, he really has a loose wrist.
some of us believe that the loose wrist enables them to get more English with a very soft stroke. And some of us don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know which side each of us is on. You look at Kuhlman's and he, he doesn't, doesn't have that flexible wrist and he is a finesse player. That's the uh, the dark body of Walt Harris, the referee who uh, just obscured the vision. <laughs> uh, he's the author of uh, the Billiard Atlas of Systems and Techniques, and uh, he's our referee for this performance. The uh, scorer, whom we might see later at the top of your screen, is Enrique Goldschwartz. There's a tremendous amount of experience keeping referees from making mistakes. Now, Mr. Seamus, I know your mother and father are in the audience. Has your mother ever seen billiards played? Many, many times. Oh, has First she? of all, uh, she started out, I think, in college watching my father play. <laughs> oh, I see. And she's been to numerous tournaments at uh, uh, both Abel's room and uh, Sandy's oh. room. Is this a case where she always wanted to marry a billiard player? No, I think <laughs> she never wanted to marry a billiard player. <laughs> that's, I think that's true of my wife. but they both got stuck. Hmm, this is a four rail shot, I think. Double the rail and then back off the side on the left. There's the fourth rail yeah. and the fall. Oh. It's difficult to describe how fast this cloth is, except to say that it's like Teflon. Uh, the ball just goes and goes and goes, and it's, you can get tremendous uh, ball paths and patterns with almost very little effort. Sangley often spends a lot of time thinking about his shots, also takes many warm-up strokes. That's true, I can attest to that. He also likes to look at the table from afar before setting down. Here's a two rail first shot. Hard it's to keep it flat. Um, interesting umbrella uh, because it'll be a four cushion shot if it makes. Beautiful. 